you? No, he's going to bring out the verses on us and you. Then I'm going to have to ask you all to leave so we can get this invitation. No, we have to leave. I can clear the chambers if I like. I don't want to have to do that. But, Mr. President, may I, may I be allowed no, to No, sir. No, day? sir. No, sir. This is the invocation. Now, oh, for this is the mayor being placed on the city council of the city in Escambia County and our, and our friends and family. Mr. President, okay. we have him last week on the floor. You have the chambers cleared this time. We need to have the chambers cleared. We need everybody to exit the chamber. Or to say his piece, and then we can move on to this meeting. Mr. Silver. Yes, I'm ready. Please proceed. <laughs>
to speak. I'll start out with Amendment 1 of the First Amendment of the Constitution. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment or, of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or the press. I say that to you because I challenge what just occurred as any form of religion. I find a website. I find a somewhat of a, an organization, but I think our founding fathers and the citizens of this community would not agree that that's any form of religion that is acceptable to the vast majority of its citizens. I also read to you, we hold these true self, we hold these truths to be self-evidence that all men are created equal and that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just power from the people, the consent of the governed, that whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right and the will of the people to alter or abolish it and to institute a new government. I stand before this council today and actually my message is more for the people behind me and the people that's watching this on TV. You, you have failed the citizens. This is a failed organization. This is completely, completely wrong what you have allowed to do. Now some of you will say, well it's him or it's her. I submit to you that as a council you have sat here tonight and allowed it to happen. I call for the people of this community to stand up, commit yourselves to putting the city of Pensacola where it deserves, to draw away from this kind of action that has been allowed to occur here, to stand up for your rights as a citizen, 
to hold your Lord in your hands and do the right things. It is time to clean this mess, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.